A Detroit eighth grader says she was strip searched at school. She crying, she upset, she like, I had to take my clothes off. Tonight, her family is taking legal action against the charter school. The family says the girl was forced to get down to her underwear all because of a vape pen. And they are now suing the George Crockett Academy. That's a charter school near Grand River and West Warren on Detroit's west side. Victor Williams uh, with us now. Victor, you talked to the mother this afternoon and she says she was never told this was about to happen. Yeah, that is correct, Devin. And as you can imagine, she's pretty upset with all of this taking place. She wasted no time at all filing this lawsuit for an incident that happened on April the 25th. She said, Mom, they thought I had an electronic cigarette and they made me take my clothes off. I said, what? Yvette Dinwiddie was lost for words when she found out her 14-year-old daughter was allegedly forced to strip down to her underwear as administrators searched for a vape pen. She cried. She upset. The only thing she kept telling me is, Mom, I thought I was going to get in trouble. That's all she kept saying. Like, I didn't want to get in trouble. I thought I was going to get in trouble. The two female administrators never found anything, and the student was instructed to go back to class. But how did this all happen to begin with? Apparently, the claim was made after a classmate Yvette is calling a bully made the accusation to a teacher following an argument. The school leader, Thomas Goodley, authorized two staff members to strip search the eighth grade girl after already searching her backpack, her locker. Her attorney, Hannah Filster, is now filing a lawsuit against the school, claiming the eighth graders rights were violated. Even in the most extreme cases, where there's a credible threat of a weapon or something like that, uh, we don't hear about students being strip searched. To make matters worse, no one even called Yvette to tell her what took place. It baffles me why y'all didn't call me, and I feel like y'all didn't call me because I was, because y'all knew y'all was wrong. Call the police if y'all didn't want to call me. The eighth grader has been at the school located at what used to be St. Leo High since she was in kindergarten, but now as a result, she along with all of her younger siblings are no longer students at the school. I don't know how many kids y'all in here stripping. Now, after phone calls, emails, and even showing up in person, we still have yet to hear anything back from someone here at George Crockett Academy regarding all of these allegations. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.